The German football culture is one of the best in Europe. You can take a beer to your seat, the ultra scene looks fantastic. But who has the best fans in the country? You may think Dortmund, Hamburg, Schalke, Frankfurt, Cologne. But what if I told you the best atmosphere could be in the third division? Dynamo Dresden, a team sitting second known for their passionate fan base. And this is the experiment today where we're going to find out the truth. Founded in 1953 and a stadium capacity of 32,000. Have you heard of this football club before? Well, today you're going to find out a lot more. Remember, the goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please please subscribe. Let's travel to Germany and find out what this club and city has to offer. Right folks, we've got a little bit of an issue. We have got an issue. I did not know this because Trainline doesn't actually tell you when you book a foreign train, but there's actually train strikes in Germany tomorrow and I've got to fly to Berlin to then take a train to Dresden. Ah, right, issue. It looks like it's gonna be a Flix bus midday from Berlin Central Station. Don't even know if the trains run from the airport to the center, but we're gonna find a way. Let's see what happens regardless, but I'll see you guys tomorrow for the big day. We'll just go over the flow and I'll see you in the morning. We have arrived in Berlin. My flight actually arrived very early, which means I can make my train, which goes directly to the city center. And it's like the only one in the next two hours as well, but I wouldn't miss my bus if I missed this train. So it actually made things a lot more easier now. Most of the time, Ryanair are on time, but it's still a love-hate relationship with them, isn't it? Standard, I had to get a coffee to wake myself up. I just absolutely despise early morning flights. And I'll continue saying that. The only direct train in the next two hours. Thank for that. But isn't the airport nice? Yeah, I feel like this is great. Everything's been very efficient, very fast. I feel like Jeff. Germany, Netherlands. I like these countries. They're very efficient. And Berlin as well. Can I just say, I'll be back here for the Euro final when England are in it. I hope so anyway. Any new viewers watching this video, I will be at Euro 2024. <laughs> at the Berlin Central Station though, but I'll tell you what, it looks like an absolute maze around here. Look at this. This just looks, this, oh, she is fuming. She is raging, but this just looks complicated. There's about three different floors. It's fucking huge. I don't really know what the plan of action is right now because we got a lot of time to kill. Turns out my bus is actually like a 12 minute Uber ride right away. So it's actually not close to this Central Station whatsoever. Got a random stack of books or something. Food, you know my fat bus. I might as well get some food. Look, I'll see this on the floor, so it means one thing. I am absolutely cultured. Oh, yes, please. But one thing first, her for Berlin. I will be back in Berlin on Wednesday in a few days' time to watch them in the quarterfinal of the cup. I cannot wait for that game. The atmosphere will be incredible, and this club, I like them. I think we're in for an incredible experience on Wednesday, and make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Hello, mate. I'm at the bus station, so everything's going well now. Oh, here we go, then. And we have made it to Dresden. Tell you what though, that bus journey wasn't bad at all because I just slept the whole way. So I'm now caught up and got my energy back for this game tonight. If you don't know, Dynamo Dresden are playing Dortmund 2. So now you're back in school and you're in your B team. Yeah, it's basically the rejects. This is the main station of Dresden. Now I'm gonna go check into the hotel and then see what's about. There is a lot of stickers on this, I'll tell you that now. There are Dynamo Dresden stickers stuck absolutely everywhere. I'm just walking to the hotel, right? And I'm just like questioning myself. I've traveled so far to watch a third division game in Germany. Here it is then. Surely must be the one. This Premier Inn. I think this is going to be the fanciest Premier Inn. No, it's just standard, isn't it? If you can't tell, time has passed right now. Um, it's dark. This is the centre. Walking in now where all the shops are. But I'll tell you what, it's an absolute ghost town on this Sunday night. It is genuinely just so quiet. It's 6pm, guys. I can hear my echo. Well, this ain't sketchy at all, is it? It's good to see they've got the street lighting out. At least there's a little bit more lighting now. Of course, the stadium's there, but I don't really make it too clear on where you're entering. I guess we just enter through here. There's only one thing I can do. Um, yeah, I may have been wrong. But look, Ultras Dynamo, it's everywhere. See, so yeah, that was a complete wrong entrance. I've got to go around the whole stadium. But it looks quite nice from the outside, to be honest. This is going to be some experience, but it was very sketchy to get to, I must admit. You know what? I will give it to him. I actually think it's really nice from the outside, to be honest. Like, for a third division stadium, like, it's phenomenal. I'll tell you what, it's quite a nice fan store, to be honest. Very yellow, as you can tell. But this is a scarf I think I'm going for. Dynamo. Dresden. I think I should do the job. I like collecting scarves. Now that I've got the scarf on, 18 euros, I mean, I've got to take it. We got it. But now I feel like I'm set for the match. Now I've got the scarf because I need the whole experience. But this stadium from the outside looks mega. Right then, we're in. And this is the concourse out here. The only thing which I'm missing though is my power bank. They took it. And this, everyone, is Dynamo Dresden. Oh my God. This is incredible. This stadium looks absolutely mega. You've got the ultras behind the goal here, all standing, standing section. But even when you look around, it looks fantastic. It reminds me of Coventry City Stadium. All the stands are kind of like the same. It reminds me of it in some way. The funny thing is, this is actually the Dortmund 2 fans. Even though Dortmund won, the normal team are playing right now. But I think this is going to be one good atmosphere, I must say. But I need to find my seat. <laughs> Why 
one thing I should probably add as well, if Dinamo Dresden win today, they go top of the table. I think that was uh, the first taste of the atmosphere. All the scarves are coming out now. So many behind the goal and everywhere in the stadium. I'm quite glad I got my scarf now. What did I say about the stickers, by the way? They love them here. I think we're ready for this game now. Here they come then. Dinamo Dresden versus Dortmund 2. A win will see them top of the table and that is big. They need to win. There we go. We're underway. It's literally the first minute. Oh, he's still got it. Still in there. Oh my days. I thought that was goalbound all day. Tell you what though, it does feel very silent. Something feels really strange in a sense where I feel like they're intentionally not creating an atmosphere and I don't know why. I feel like I need to understand something. It's not bad, you know, a little flick. Oh, it's there. Oh my days. Tell you what, that was close. That was really close. But I just don't understand why they're not creating an atmosphere. There must be a reason behind it. Ah, so all of a sudden, they've just put some banners up. And now they're starting, they're now starting. I feel like they put bat banners out to protest against a few things and then now they're going to start an atmosphere. That's my guess. Let's make it one. Put in there. Oh, oh my God. There's been a few good opportunities already. Oh, here we go. Flipping it. This is all of a sudden. That just came out of nowhere. It's taken 12 minutes for the atmosphere to start. And my word is it loud. I think they're complaining against the kickoff time. I think I might be wrong. Oh, he's left it. Oh, great touch. Oh, everything's just getting blocked and everything. What on earth? I can't say enough how loud this is. Oh my God. Well, that's not um, in the script at all. Well, the goal just came out of nothing, their end, everything. It's a little bit awkward to film when uh, they're 1 0 down. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Normally you'd do this to like intimidate the opponents, but. Never mind. Oh my. It is always these nearly moments right now. See you later, pal. Bye bye. Another one goes missing, but at least that one did bobble. There you go. It's in. It's another deflection. This is just mental. Imagine being in that. It just gets crazy every, every tune. And that is half time and a break. 1 0 to Dortmund. It is not what they want going into half time but they've been a dominant side and I think second half they're going to turn it around and win I think they need to for the table and everything like that and I think these chances in the second half will actually fall in the back of the net well, let's hope so anyway and we are back out again for the second half let's hope they can get this comeback because that would be special can we just appreciate that this is third division by the way the ultra scene here in Germany and European countries fantastic the first 10 minutes was definitely a protest but after that it's been fantastic the atmosphere incredible third division wow <laughs> They just chant with aggression. It just feels like every time they chant, it's aggression. It's aggressive. What do you guys think about this stadium, though? Doesn't it remind you like, of the yellow Coventry? I swear to God. It is literally like the yellow Rico. I'm not even joking. How many away fans do you think there is, then? I'm going to guess about 66. If it's more than 66, I'll be surprised. I swear this is some sort of like illusion on your mind. Look at that. Just compare it to third division football. Considering, you know, I do a lot of stuff at Cambridge United now. Third division is like the German version of it. It's crazy. Like, you don't see this at Fleetwood. You don't get this at Fleetwood Town, do you? As far as I'm aware, anyway, I don't think Fleetwood are like that. Where do you think we are now? We're at a fucking Taylor Swift concert by the looks of it. Why are we swaying our arms like this? In there. There it is. They've got the goal. They've got the goal. It's the equaliser. It's about time they hit a ball in the back of the net. And I tell you what, with like half an hour to go, they can get the winner. That is a big, big goal. Look what it means. The atmosphere in here. It's an 
electric atmosphere in here, man. All the scarves are out again. I just think it looks class when you see all of this out. I am so happy I bought one in the end. Now they're waving them about. Like, I wish you could get this at Cheltenham, but I don't think you will. It's good to experience these different cultures and lower leagues, clubs you wouldn't normally visit, and that's exactly what I love doing and will continue doing. How's it not in? He's missed an open goal, man. How can you excuse that? He's just missed an open goal, and here come Dortmund on the attack. Dearie me. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my days. He's dropped his flag now. What's, what is going on? Okay then. Wow. Well, it's 2 1 to Dortmund. I do want to say one thing. Obviously, I'm not German and I don't understand any of the chants, so if there's anything bad, then I apologise. It's 2 1 Dortmund in the 86th minute. But they literally just missed an open goal and they went down the other end and scored to make a 2 1. The fine margins of football. One thing I can say is these fans are absolutely crazy. They feel very aggressive, I must say. Very, very aggressive. And do you know what? I don't go to many grounds where I feel intimidated. Oh, oh my. It's. it's... I don't, oh my, I don't understand what's just gone on. No, it's not happening. Not happening. And that is it. That is full time. A 2 1 loss for the table. That is not good. They needed to win today. But they're still seeing a full time. They're still seeing back in the team all the way. It's not like they're out of it. There's so many games to play, but this was a big opportunity to get up there. And that has been my time at Dinamo Dresden. Wow, now uh, that was some experience for a football fan from England. Let's put it that way. For the third division of German football, it's absolutely fantastic. They'll get in behind the team, even when they're losing. Even at the end, after the game, they always stuck by the team. I do love finding these clubs and giving you a video of a different experience for once. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, follow me on Instagram, share this video out, and I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you subscribe as well. We want 100k. See you later.